Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of uh, PFP, Partners for Possibility, Principles, and all protocol observed at the guests as well. It's uh, important, I think, to be here this morning and to be able to reflect on a year, year that has gone by. Indeed, it was something that was really advantageous for us, beneficial, and at the same time became a bit stressful, especially when you had to travel far out to meetings and so forth. I'm going to start off with what a life of a principal has been. It has become so complex. Your job is just not a straightforward principal going in and sitting in your office. It's not that at all anymore. Mel, can you please come forward? I'm coming. You constantly try to find out who are you, what is your focus, how do you bank your successes and throw, gr throw the gremlins into a recycling bin. And you look at all your tasks and all your duties and you say to yourself, is this what I trained professionally to do? Is this what I was trying to become? Is this what turn around? Is this what I have to overcome? And is this what I have to accomplish? And then you realize that, no, thank you, Mel. <laughs> you realize that you cannot do this on your own. So one day, a lady named Pasha, and she is here, raise your hand, Pasha. There she goes. She walked into my office and told me she heard about our school. And she said she tried several times to get hold of me. I said, you heard about our school? Notorious past. She said, yes. I said, positive future? Well, I was hopeful. And hopeful brought me here today. Uh, I met Anita, our driver, our mentor, our coach, at the first meeting in Valley's Park. And Anita has really taken us through a year of accomplishments, a year of uh, delving in deep. And she allowed us to look at things that we may not, we have just scanned through. So we have gone through some very good moments with her. I had the opportunity of having a, a, a triad session here at this very place as well. I was introduced to a homegrown girl, Mar Marilyn Cresswell Adolf, as my business partner from Liberty. Accompanied her to a training, time to think session. She wor worked from home. We traveled together to a, a time to think workshop in, in Rosebank. From the time I got into the car, Madeline was on her phone with work right until the time we reached Rosebank. And I said to myself, is this really going to be my business partner? Because <laughs> she's really into her business. I knew her hectic schedule and key position at work immediately. We were in limbo for a few months and I must admit that and I think it worried Anita as well. Marilyn was honest to request two to three months before she committed fully again and the choice was mine and Anita was brave enough to bring that choice to me and offer me Marilyn or somebody new and I decided that my patience would be, would be pulled out and I decided I would not get on with a new partner. My patience paid because I now have a lifelong partner. Marilyn is not ending here today. We have plans for the future. Our focus was immediately <coughs> top down. Leadership, strategic leadership, inspirational leadership, people management, operations management, research and development into the school, and vision and dedication to purpose. Why are we together? So we went on with that. Her first initiative was the reading books collection that she did and brought through to the school because reading is high key. I've set up a reading room and today a reader, tomorrow a leader. Even your grade R and grade one children at our school will tell, will tell us that. We've had various other partnerships that are still coming as well, a Mandela Day pair of where parent learners, master chef creative paintings, math science creations, environment uh, inventions. For every child, Madeline is working with her team to bring a book for every child, a motivational speaker for classes, 
And so we want to have an award-winning parent-child team in terms of MasterChef for one grade, paintings for another, and so forth. So I think that's where I'm saying now our partnership would continue. She also came in through our Heart and Soul uh, partnership, and we had a huge event with about 93 therapists at school, and she was actively involved in on that day. Learner reform, this was the best part from the workshops that we had gone to. The time to think, the um, flawless consulting and the community build. From that I went back to school and I would refer you to the children's work. This is what the children came up with after reflecting on learner reform, which was excellent. What are our problems? What is good behavior? Because that is the problem facing the country. You have seen videos of violence in schools. What is good behavior? What rewards are expected from you as a learner? And how will we change to be good if we are not? If we don't feel that we are good? So this was parent, I mean, learner uh, intervention in classrooms, which came from the workshops that we attended, which were really, really beneficial. To, to our team. And from that, I knew that I was moving forward in terms of the rest of our teamwork. Marilyn here is with our management, sitting at my desk and delivering to us session one and session two on how to bring corporate standards into an institution. Because you find parents, you deal with so many stakeholders. We're in a community that is drug ridden and they could feel that they can walk in at any time and want to see the principal and want to see the class teacher, even though they have, uh, the teachers are having their contact with the learners. So this was where we had to change things. And I said to Madeline, I want corporate standards in this institution. So she's had her first session and her second session with us management, which worked off very, very well. She now goes, comes in to go to staff, and continue with learner leaders. And you'll see she's already had her interaction with the learner leaders. She's met the RCL as well. I think with that, I don't know how this worked out, um, Anita, because I've never been exposed to any men in my team except <coughs> the uh, business partners, but I was an all-girls team. So having no men in my team i'm going to say here's to strong women may we know them may we be them may we raise them and i have to read to you quickly marilyn's uh, message which she did early this morning to me and she wanted it read okay so i'm going to go through that quickly but the benefits of the program were great it was i love networking that's the only way i was able to build my school through partnerships and i think i learned more with some of the workshops that we attended and the interactive sessions and really meet i look forward to meetings with ram and mel and uh, him and the Re brian you were uh, uh, um, uh, <coughs> you were an inspiration really and this little dynamite in small packages <laughs> i cannot tell you more about her. <laughs> this is from marilyn Good morning all. Firstly, I would like to convey my apologies for not being there today. Also, a big congratulations to all of us for making it to the end of this phase of our journey. And what a journey it's been. When I signed up for PFP, my expectations were high. I was all geared to work at a school in my community or fire, fired up to make a difference. It didn't work out that way, unfortunately. I went through PFP during one of the toughest years in my career. I wouldn't get to the school or spend time with Vanessa. I did, did I think about quitting only a hundred times. I was getting to do things that I had planned to do while on the program. I did, however, get to a point where I made a conscious decision to commit to my partnership with Vanessa. Vanessa is the most inspiring person I have met, calling traditional Indian females female roles a taboo. She is ambitious. I, I really don't know about ambitious because if I was, I would have been president of this country. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not about uh, ambitious. I want to be in the school I am in, no higher. She is ambitious and overcomes every challenge that the life throws at her with grace. 
I have learned so much from her during our conversations. Having lost my mum just a few years ago, I feel her so close to I feel so close to her each time I am with Vanessa. They both cared a deep a deep care and love for other human beings and are not afraid to show it. Thank you, Vanessa, for your patience and understanding. I know that we will continue our partnership for years to come. There you go. She is, it's our intention too. Attenborough Primary is a beacon of hope and salvation to the lost youth in Attenborough and the school is made up of a principal and educators who are passionate and driven. Thank you for the opportunity to be a part of this unique program. Together we can make a difference. And yes, together, Marilyn, myself, and for us to continue this relationship we have with all of you, we are definitely going to make a difference in this beautiful country that we need to claim back and claim the education status back to its norm because what we have now is not a norm. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Vanessa. Uh, I just want to say something about Vanessa, um, you know, the, the courage that Vanessa had to, to walk this journey for a couple of months on her own, faithful coming to all the COP meetings, which is the community of practice meetings, and um, everything that she contributed to the circle as well, even though she was often on her own at the meetings, I really have to to say thank you and commend you on that Vanessa, thank you so much. Great stuff. Okay. So I'd like to invite um, Melanie to come and talk to us about her journey with Byron. Byron can unfortunately not be here today either. Um, he has another, he's been sent to Cape Town and could not be here unfortunately. But Melanie is strong and she stands in both pairs of shoes at the same time. Yes, um, that's what I do. Yes, that's what I do. Get my board. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Okay. I got this. Yep.